Today, we'll be integrating Okta with a Dscope project. We'll start by creating a new Dscope project and then stepping through the Getting Started Guide. We'll be building out a business-to-business -business use case, so we'll select Business here. We'll then select Next. We'll select SAML SSO. And then here for the secondary method, I'm going to select Magic Link. This page then allows us to select what kind of flow we would like. We can then later change these in the Flows Editor. We'll select this first one. We see it again here. We'll select Next, and it will build out our example flow. We'll then go to the Flows page, select Sign Up or In, and we can then view our flow that was created for us. So this flow goes to a welcome screen, takes the user's email. If they click Continue, it'll process the Magic Link flow. Otherwise, it's going to log them in via SSL. We'll now create our tenant. We'll go to the Tenants page and click Add Tenant. Here, I'm going to create a Dscope tenant, we'll leave the tenant ID empty, and give it the self-registration URL of dscope.com. We'll now work on creating our application within Okta and configuring the tenant. Let's open the tenant, go to SSO Configuration, and then we can step through this. We'll be referencing our Okta integration application knowledge base article in order to step through this process. We'll browse the app catalog within Okta. We'll search for Dscope. We'll select Dscope and click Add Integration. We can change the application label. I'm going to change it to SSO Live Tutorial. And then we'll click Done. And then we're going to go to Sign On. And as we see here, we're going to go and get the entity ID and the ACS URL. So here you can see the entity ID. We're going to click Edit. We'll update the entity ID. We'll copy in the ACS URL. We'll then save the configuration in Okta. We can then scroll further up here underneath of the metadata URLs within the single sign-on section. We can click More Details. So within the Dscope interface, we can add the metadata URL here or we can update with the login URL, entity ID, and certificate. For this, we're going to use the metadata URL. And to note, you download the signing certificate and copy the text into the certificate field if you configured this route. That does include the begin and end statements. We can then save this. We can also configure the tenant domain here. So we'll do the same and configure it as dscope.com. And in your application, if you need to post to a different redirect URL, this is mainly applicable to non-use of flows, so like the SDKs and such, you can also uh, update this as well. Or if you're using an IDP-initiated sign-on, you would direct this back to the screen where you host your flow. We'll now configure the attribute mapping. We'll click Edit within the single sign-on section. We'll then click Attributes and we'll add our attributes. So here we're going to set username and that's going to be user.firstName. And then we're gonna add another one for email as user.email. And then we're going to add one for groups. So we're gonna add group here and we're gonna say starts with Chris because that's the groups we want to pass. Now if we save that, now we'll scroll up to the top and click assignments and we'll assign groups to our application. So we're going to add some groups here. And then we're going to double check this group. This group has this user, which is the user we're going to use to test. We'll then go back over to the Dscope tenant and go to the SSO mapping tab. And we're going to configure these items here. So this is how they're being passed across. So we're going to update this to username and this will leave as email. We can delete the phone number if we don't want to have it. And in this tutorial, we didn't pass it from Octo. And then here we are sending the groups as group. And then we are going to add this group, which is Chris test group. And we're gonna map it to the tenant admin role. And we'll save that. Now we can test our user login with an Octo user. See that there are currently no users. And then we can go to the Getting Started page, click Run Code, copy in the user's email address, 
It'll take us to Octa to sign in. It then redirects us back here where we can inspect the uh, response. But if we go and look at our users, this user is now created and given the tenant admin role. To recap this tutorial, we implemented SSO sign-on with Bscope using Okta as the IDP.